When you head out to the races, uh, you're going to want to start to acquire some gear uh, that's good for layering during cold weather. So to start with, you want to get yourself a really good bag. And so you start out with good socks, you start out with your regular shoes that you ride cyclocross in. The, other, the next step up you can move to is you can get these shoe covers. These go right over your cyclocross clip-in shoes and they're an insulator, they keep the wind. And for the most part, you're almost always gonna be racing in a kit, a pair of shorts with a chamois in them. And, this, and then under that kit, if you want to, you can wear some long leg warmers, like long johns that have a waist and all that kind of thing. So learn your layers, just keep practicing. And then on the way, then on your tops, you're gonna have your, again, your team or program kit. You may have an insulated layer under that shirt. You can also just wear a vest under that kit shirt. That'll you can either swap those out or add a leg and arm warmers. The event of rain uh, or snow or something else, you might want a shell right now, but this is a whole body bib and you can put this on under your bike program kit so even on the coldest of days, you can stay super warm. Across, you'll see a lot of guys wearing eye protection. And then you're almost always in cold weather gonna wanna have a wicking hat between your head and your helmet. And worst case scenario, if it starts getting a little uh, really cold, you can get yourself a full head mask. And you can also get just a tube, like an insulated tube that's a wicking material. And this can go over your neck or even put it on your head. But those, in cyclocross, you're going to wear either a light pair of winter gloves that, again, is a wicking material. Race in is just like a standard pair of snowboarding or snow shoveling or hardware store type gloves. The other thing that's real popular in cyclocross a lot of times you'll see is lobster claws. And lobster going to have your helmet, you know, that's everywhere you go. Always. You're also going to be surprised and impressed at how you start to spend more time out in cold weather because you become acclimated to it. So bring your bibs, bring a hat and gloves so that after the race, you get out of your cold, wet stuff, you put on some dry street clothes, fluffy dry. Now the way I break this up and store it is, I use uh, Ziploc bags that are all labeled the bags and then put in that bag really well organized. So start making this part of your race day experience where you, the junior racer, put this gear together and make it your favorite and try it on and off while you're at home so you know it fits well. And put this together for yourself, start practicing it, bring it out to the clinics on Thursday night. We'll see you soon.